As developers, we spend a lot of time testing the code that we've written. Generally, this is a manual process where we write a little code and then manually enter some inputs to verify that we got what we expected. What if instead of doing the same manual testing over and over again, we used a tool that would allow us to write tests that check an input with an expected output? Then we can quickly know if something is broken. That's where an automated testing tool like PHPUnit comes into the picture. In this video, we'll discuss what PHPUnit is, how to install it, and show you how to get started using it today. Hello developers, and welcome to the PHP Architect channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Scott Keck Warren, and on this channel, we discuss a wide variety of topics related to the PHP ecosystem. Make sure you subscribe so you can get our latest videos when they're published, and make sure you follow me, at Scott Keck Warren, on phpc.social and Twitter. PHP Unit is a programmer-oriented testing framework for PHP. PHP Unit is written in PHP, and it allows us to use PHP code to test our applications. It is an instance of the XUnit architect for unit testing framework, so concepts that exist in PHP Unit may seem familiar in other XUnit-based frameworks. PHP Unit can be used to do all kinds of testing, but the two main types we'll be discussing today are unit testing and integration testing. Unit testing is a testing method where individual units of source code are tested to determine whether or not they are fit for use. A unit test generally tests a single class, so we can isolate side effects in our tests. That way, a change in one class doesn't affect multiple tests. Ideally, a unit test is small and can be run quickly. There are exceptions to this rule, but for the most part, the focus is on speed and how a single class acts independently. We can also use PHP unit to write integration tests. Integration tests are used to test how multiple classes interact with each other. These tend to be slower to set up and slower to run. That being said, integration tests can be extremely powerful. They make it easy for us to make sure that our application is accessible by a user. I try to write unit tests where I can, but to verify the health of my application, I use a lot of integration tests. Ideally, our tests wouldn't interact with anything external to our application, such as external APIs, services, and databases. Sometimes we can't get around this limitation. For example, we might have a reporting module where the primary function is to get data from the database. If our tests need to verify that we get the correct data out, there's really nothing we can do to get around it. There are many other testing frameworks for testing PHP code, but PHP Unit is the de facto testing framework. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel, as we'll be discussing more of these frameworks in the future. There are several ways to install PHP Unit. Several of them appear to be around from the days before Composer exists, but unless there's a very specific reason for you to need the PAR version, we recommend PHP Unit be installed using Composer. PHP Unit is a command line tool, and as a command line tool, there are lots of parameters that make it super powerful. This power allows us to run just some of our tests, depending on how we call PHP Unit. By default, we can run PHP Unit without any parameters, and it will run all of our tests. This is generally how we run it before we deploy our changes to production. As our test suite grows, our tests are going to take longer and longer to run. To speed up our development cycle, we're not going to want to run all the tests every time we make a small change. Because of this, it's important to target tests for the specific change. We can pass the path of a specific test file we want to run, and it will run just the tests inside that file. This is helpful if we want to make sure our changes to a file didn't affect any other functionality in that class. We can use the filter parameter to run tests that contain specific words. This is helpful if we want to isolate our run of PHP unit to just test it, affect a specific type of test. For example, we might have changed our user class, and we want to run any tests that have user in the name of the test class or the test method. Finally, we can filter it, so we run a specific test in a specific file. This is a good way to run just the tests we're working on to speed us up and not get distracted by other tests failing. As a quick tip, when I'm developing a new test, I start by running just the new test using the filter and file options from before. Once that's working, I'll run the whole file to make sure I didn't break anything related. Finally, I'll run all of the tests to make sure I didn't affect another class that has a dependency on the class I changed. While PHP Unit is a command line tool by default, there are some huge efficiency gains from looking into how our IDE can call PHP Unit directly. When we're manually running the tests from the command line, we have to make some changes in our code, switch over to our terminal, type in the command we need to run the tests, and then finally we can see the results of our change. With IDE integration, there's generally a 
button we can press to run a single test or a whole file. Better yet, there should be a keyboard shortcut to do this for us. We love how clean the organization of PHP init tests are. All the test files are located inside the test folder separate from our application logic. Some testing frameworks have the test file in the same directory as the code under test. This is great for finding the test, but the separation makes it easier to search if we have to perform a global search for place. The downside to this is it's not always clear how to structure our tests for maintainability. PHP unit uses PHP classes to group similar tests together. We almost always want a test class for each application class that has logic. We generally don't write tests for models that have no logic and are only there so we can use our framework's ORM or that are being used to house constants. My suggestion is that you should be able to easily go from the file you're working on to its associated tests. I do this by simply replacing source with tests and can quickly jump to the test file. This isn't the only way, but it's what tends to happen in most open source frameworks. Now, the only other thing we're going to need to get started using PHP unit is a PHP unit.xml file in the root of our project. This file will be loaded automatically by PHP unit when it loads if it's in the directory we're calling the PHP unit executable from. To generate this initially, we'll use vendor bin PHP unit generate configuration, which will then prompt us for some information. My PHP unit.xml is listed on the screen and can be found in the companion article on the PHP Architect website. You should include this as part of your commits as it will be used on other computers running the same tests. More after this word from our sponsor, Honey Badger. When you're in production, a thousand things can go wrong. You could deploy a bug in your latest release. Your background jobs can silently fail. Someone could trip over the network cable at your data center. And this all comes back to you. You need to know when bad things happen and be able to respond to them quickly. That's why we built Honey Badger. It's easy to install Honey Badger in your backend applications and front end JavaScript. It only takes a few minutes of configuration and you'll have monitoring done. That's because we hook into popular web frameworks, job systems, and the browser so that when any of them crash, we can automatically let you know. We ping your application from our global fleet of servers to let you know about problems with connectivity, latency, and SSL certificates. And we monitor your recurring jobs to see if any of them stop recurring. When there's a problem, we alert your team using the tools you already use. We can create issues in GitHub, Jira, and other issue trackers, and send notifications via Slack, PagerDuty, or other channels. When you click through, you'll be taken to detailed information on the error. You'll see things like request parameters, headers, user information, and the backtrace. Click on any line of the backtrace to view it in GitHub, Bitbucket, or your local editor. When you fix a problem, just mark it resolved and follow up with the affected user. That's Honey Badger, where the monitoring tool for web developers would rather be, well, developing. Again, PHP unit organizes tests inside PHP classes. We can name our test classes any way we want, as long as it's a valid PHP class name. Each class also needs to end with test, or PHP unit won't auto load that file by default. This can be changed in our PHP unit file, but it's best to stick to the standard. The class also needs to extend the PHP unit framework test case class. Now that we've created our test class, we can start adding some tests. In PHP unit, individual tests are just public class methods. I highly recommend making the name of the function something that expresses the intent of what you're testing. I try to make it read like a sentence so someone can come along and read the name and know exactly the goal of the test. There are two ways to create functions that PHP unit will use as a test. The first is to name our test starting with the word test. The second is to use the at test annotation in the doc block for the method. Which one you choose is a personal or team preference, I like to use the prefix version in videos because it uses less vertical space, which is helpful in some samples. Each test should call at least one assertion method. Assertion methods are used to assert that a value from our code matches an expected value. If we don't have an assertion in our code, PHP unit will mark it as a risky test and depending on our settings, cause it to fail. I personally see not having an assertion as a definite reason to fail. Now PHP unit ships with a lot of assertions and it seems like every release contains more. Assertion methods start with an assert and then detail what it's asserting. If the value we're sending the assertion doesn't match the expected value, the test will be marked as failed when we run PHP unit and we'll get a nice listing of all the failed tests in our output. One of the best pieces of advice we can give about how to structure test code 
is to create a custom test case class for each package you're developing. This will allow you to create helper functions that perform common setup code and create our own assertion method. As a brief summary, PHP unit is a unit testing framework for PHP. Tests are put into the test directory of our project. Tests are organized by having one test file per model. Each test must contain at least one assertion method call. I hope you enjoyed our video. If so, make sure you subscribe, comment, share, and like as it does help others find us. Are there topics you would like to see us cover? Or have you been using PHP unit in your job? Let us know in the comments below or send me a message at Scott Keck Warren on phpc.social or Twitter. I love to hear how we can help you, and it always brightens my day when I hear from a fan. This is Scott Keck Warren for the PHP Architect channel signing off and reminding you to keep watching, keep coding, and keep reading. Thank you.